Huh? You remember these guys, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Such good work they've done. Oh, wow, look at that! That's not half bad. Ag666 games. Oh, all games, okay. All games. It's murder mystery time. Are you ready? Oh, well, we know the culprit. Yep, it's always Agatha Christie. No, it's that crow. <laughs> goes everywhere where there's murder. Oh, goodness. So, you remember, like, um, that uh, And Then There Were None game? Yeah, it's kind of hard to forget that one. So the Adventure Company made a bunch of games based on Agatha Christie's books, and they are all absolutely incredible. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who missed the last one, all you need to know is um, they completely changed the plot completely changed the ending, and you played a kleptomaniac idiot who just chucked away evidence. Yeah. And there were quite ridiculous puzzles, even for an adventure game. Why do we have Skyrim music backing this? I quite like it. Uh, no, this, is good, this is good music, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says classic murder mysteries like chanting male choirs. It's the violins, man. It's ominous. Okay. Right, let's go. Let's begin this. I've seen about ten minutes into this, and I want to share this wonderful experience with you. We're in New York. Whoa, okay. In the house! You're surrounded! If you don't walk out that door unarmed in ten seconds, we open fire! Sounds like a guy from South Park. <laughs> God, you're right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, I'm gonna shoot this house six, with my shotgun. Five. Last Do they really have the house surrounded? No. It's like four they guys at yeah, the front. Right, all out the front, okay. that's it. Perforated what does that mean, boss? <laughs> mean shoot it, you idiot! Oh, there they are. <laughs> yeah, you can see a couple of people. Can't they just hide upstairs? Can't they just lie down? That too. This is a huge waste of bullets. They could just go in. That's the point. If they keep doing this, they'll run out of bullets and the criminals can just walk out the door. Yeah. Speaking of which... Well, howdy, Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> Who opened the door? Oh, yeah! What? Wow. Okay. This, um, where's the express come into it? Mr. Anyway, somewhere completely different. On the other side of the world ten years later... Monsieur Hikir Poirot no. is a personal friend of it's mine. It's a Poirot game? He has done a great yes. service oh, for yes. secret. An international importance to the government of Turkey. Now, he is suddenly summoned by the Prime Minister himself to return to Great Britain at once. This book is boring. Oh my. I dined with him only last evening and promised him that I, Marcel Bourg, director of the train, shall speak in exposition for the rest of my days. Aboard this evening's train. Take my friend Poirot in charge, Mademoiselle Marceau. Secure a compartment of the highest comfort. Hello. Every wish. Um, this wow. office is depending upon you. <laughs> Why is he <laughs> leering at the camera? Consider because... the application for promotion. I don't know. Place on my desk week after He's week. Suave. Fair. And satisfy yourself with the position of clerk for the few short days you will remain in my employ. Monsieur Poirot? No. I'm not poor. All right, Antoinette. Here at last is the chance you've been waiting for. Your fate is in your own hands. She's talking to herself. So our task is to put him on a train of relative comfort, and then she gets promoted. If not, she's fired. Wow. Wish I could get promoted so easily. It's a train! Well, it's not as simple as you think. Oh. Monsieur Poirot? Ugh. God, he's deaf. Whoa! Oh, amazing animations. It's not very happy with the frame rate, is it? There we go, we've leveled it out. Okay. So, let's... Why is there a guy just holding two knives staring at this guy? It's just like, if you keep talking, I'm going to do something we're both going to regret. They're not even really talking, they're just like staring intently into each other's eyes. Stop looking at me! Dried figs, apricots, dates, raisins, and mulberry. Oh god. Yes, she does the adventure game protagonist thing of just staring and commenting on everything. 
I do not have time to browse. I must get to the station. But you just browse. Ah, never mind. Wow. This fool tries to sell me a cleaver with no style or grace. Tell him which is the better cleaver for the hacking of me. Ah, this is the toll bridge. Why can't I walk around you? <laughs> just, just let me pass. Please, let me pass. Answer my question. Tonight's meal depends upon it. Passing is more important than that. I'm not an expert on cleavers, sir. Also, I'm getting fired because of you. Let's see. Left or right? I, does it... It's gonna matter, but why? This is such a stupid thing. We go left. The cleaver in your left hand. Ah, here at least is one who knows fine forged German steel when she sees it. This is 1934, right? <laughs> now we will stop blocking your way down the street. Even though we weren't really blocking you because you could just walk around. There was a guy holding two massive knives. He was blocking us. Okay. Answer my questions. I could do with a box, but... Does the blanket come with the box? I really need a box with a blanket over it. <laughs> Look at him waddle off. <laughs> you can move quickly. It's so quiet, how can he not hear his name being called? Mr. Poirot. Let's just see if we can grab anything on the screen, actually. Oh dear, there's a coat. Boxes of tea from Turkey and Ceylon. Herbal teas and thick, dark Turkish coffee. I don't have time for browsing. I do not have time to browse. <laughs> I must get to the station. So she doesn't want to talk to people. But I, I really don't know what on earth is going on with that. Um, nothing obvious we can really nick around here. No. Okay. Whoop. Ooh. Whoa, whoop. Oh, heavens. Where is the station, I wonder? This is beautiful, though. Okay, let's try speaking to him again. Monsieur Poirot. <laughs> if only I could say, shout his name. Oh, God, they're going to question us all. Which tweed jacket is better? <laughs> Or brown. Now see here, Foscarelli. I've done my fair share of craft. I'll tell you, Kataya tiles are the finest made in Turkey. You were surprisingly close. I tell you, it is the enamel tiles from Iznik. These are the oldest and the most beautiful of the Ottoman Empire. Well, they are quite impressive, to be sure. But the Kataya tiles are more beautiful. I'm sure there are examples sold here in this bazaar that would prove my point. Gentlemen, please, may I get by? What have we here? Young lady, settle the dispute. You know the famous enameled ceramics. You've got to be kidding yes, me. Yes, of course, I live in Istanbul, but... We have to wait here for our porter. Find us an example of a Kataya tile. And an Iznik. Just borrow them for a second. No need to buy any. Why don't you do it? <laughs> I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Then permit us to continue the debate without you. I never said you couldn't. What... Boxes of In the hell is this? Herbal teas and thick hey there, strange coffee. woman. Please join in on our debate. Of uh, no significance. We can't get past can we? Or an Iznik? Not yet. Well, please return once you have. Why can't you do it since you care? This is... No, this is stupid. Yeah, we can't get by. This is... The knife not really blocking the road. How did Poirot get by? I have no idea. Get him a goat. What is that goat eating? So look, you, you can see right here. There's just... <sighs> okay. Hey there, lady. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Let's just click on everything and try and find a tile quickly. Okay. Let's try going this way. Maybe here? Ah, okay. <laughs> I need to remember to return this. Wow, he's not paying attention. Can you just take another one? I had a hand symbol for a moment there, but I think the moment has passed. Well, whatever. Here, yeah, here's your damn tiles. Okay. Silly woman, these aren't it sneaky, can tie, katahi, whatever. Ah, she returns. Perhaps now we can settle. And this. stop being horrible human Did beings. Bring us a kataya? Or an sneak? Here is a kataya bowl. It is the best, of course. There. What did I tell you? Thank you, young woman. Now we can turn our attention to more important things. Uh, like those fountains we were discussing. This is a parody of an adventure game, right? <laughs> I really hope so. Because <laughs> this is this is a joke, right? Anyway, let's commit some theft. Works for me. What did we just nick? Um, I have no idea. But hopefully we can actually return that bottle. 
I simply must remember. To... Something belongs here. I, of course, know what. So, so okay. do I... Is there an inventory screen? Grain ticket. Do we not actually have the thing we stole? We we gave it to him. Uh, oh my goodness, we gave it to him, and well, damn. Well, we committed theft. It won't even let us not. This is the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> Say goodbye to your business. Let's, let's just get past. Yeah, let's just get this over with. Ah, the case of the missing ball. I believe I have found the culprit. It is these grains, to be sure. If I commit enough crimes, then surely he'll notice me. Oh, wow. <laughs> Monsieur Poirot. Oh, God, it's that woman again. I hate my fans. Let me pass. Her Excellency has lost her parasol. We are searching for it to protect her from the sun, you see. There is no sun. It's a cloudy day. Also, how on earth... Like, we just saw Poirot walk round them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Clearly she's got a big sign on her saying nothing better to do. Don't speak to me like that. I represent the Express Company. Screw royalty, or whatever I you are. I beg your pardon, but I am in a great hurry. Then you are an ignorant girl indeed. Go about your business. I expect she can buy another somewhere nearby. A parasol fit for a princess? She are. I think not. She was dumb enough to lose her parasol. Please, I must catch that man. There will always be more men, my dear. Not for you, clearly, you if you're a princess, no and not a queen. They will come to you. I must not miss my train, but I have misplaced my parasol. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it. Is there an option to sucker punch her? If you could help us look for it. I am I not wish. as mobile as I was at your age, and Schmidt would rather fast than make an adequate search. I would be very grateful. I don't care. It's a, it, give me like, the option to uh, punch her in the face. This is ridiculous. What is this? Why is everyone blocking our way down this one street? I don't know. This is it. What uh, is the goat eating? Might be a parasol. What is that goat eating? How do you know? Um, you see this? <laughs> is it genuinely a parasol? Genuinely the parasol, but the goat won't go out the way. So we sucker punch the goat. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Ah. So we couldn't just go round the goat. No. It'd be wrong to go round the goat. Ta-da! <laughs> Are you enjoying this? In a world where people just get in their freaking way all the time. It's like she's got amazing contact issues and that she can't even come within, like, one meter of people. Please, give me my personal space. Please, get out of my way. And people just exploit this and make demands of her. This is such a weird universe. Could this be the parasol? But yes, Dunkerchen Fräulein. If your excellency pleases, we should board the train. I still must buy a bracelet for my arthritis, Schmidt. There is ample time yet for the train. Then Let why did you make us go get your parasol? Pass. 